To connect OBS Studio with Zoom Conference, it's actually quite complicated. I'm going to lay this out step by step for you, because as you can see right now, everything I'm doing in OBS is being broadcast live into Zoom Conference. Audio and video is coming through into Zoom Conference. Check it out in Zoom. NDI is bringing the signal from OBS over. Check it out on the video side. NDI is bringing the video signal over as well. Audio and video coming from my OBS to Zoom conference in real time. How did I do it? It took me about 20 hours to figure this out. Here we go. Pay attention to every single step I tell you. If you do any of these steps wrong, it's not going to work. Okay? Just follow along with me. Step by step. Are you ready? Step number one. NDI OBS plugin. Google that. I'm not going to link it to you because it's constantly updated. Google that and go to the top search result on obsproject.com. This will be the most recent plugin that's going to allow OBS to use NDI technology to connect to Zoom conference. What you're going to do next is you're going to scroll down on this page and you're going to go to whatever the most recent OBS NDI patch is and then go ahead and click it. Then it's going to give you a link to the release page of the plugin, click that. It's gonna take you to a page that looks like this. Scroll down to the very, very bottom, find your platform that you're going to install this on. There's a Mac version, there's a Windows version, whatever it is. Download the windowsinstaller.exe. That's what you're gonna to wanna to download, windowsinstaller.exe. Once that is downloaded, what you're going to do is install it. Great. Now that that's completed, don't do anything else and go to step number two, which is Google NDI virtual input. Okay, the top search result should be the correct one on ndi.com slash tools. You'll see a page that kind of looks like this. Scroll down and you'll see a download button to get the most recent NDI tools. Click that and then select your operating system. Windows is here and Mac is here. Select your operating system and click download. It's going to ask you for your personal information. You'll have to provide it if you want these tools and then it will send you an email after you submit your personal information and the email will have the download link, okay? Once you, down once you do this, click the email, Download the file, and just like you did with the other tools, once the download shows up down here, install it. Great. Then you will have to restart your computer. So let's recap. You downloaded the NDI plugin that you're using here in OBS, and you downloaded the NDI virtual input that's allowing you to input a signal into Zoom. You installed both of them, and then you restarted your computer. Cool, we're all on the same page, awesome. Now that you did that, I'm gonna go ahead and close OBS, I'm gonna close Zoom, and I'm gonna show you, now that you have the prerequisite stuff installed on your computer, how to get your signal from OBS into Zoom. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the NDI Virtual Input Program, and you can search for it in your search bar if you'd like to, the NDI Virtual Input Program is running on your computer. Click it and make sure it's running. Once it's running, it's gonna pop up in the bar down here at the bottom of your computer, NDI virtual input. See it down here in the bottom? Cool. Right click on it, right click on it, and then what you're going to do is select zero decibels for your audio, and for your video, you're going to select automatic. Awesome. Your next step is to open OBS. Click OBS and open OBS. Awesome, here it is. At the top of OBS, you're going to click on Tools. Here at Tools, you're going to go to NDI Output Settings. Click that. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna select your main output to be outputted and have it be called OBS. Check this checkbox right here, Main Output OBS, and hit OK. Now that that is happening, your signal from OBS is now outputting so that the NDI plugin can catch that signal. Awesome. Now that that's happening, go to the NDI virtual plugin down here that we were looking at earlier. And as you can see, desktop popped up. 
now that OBS is open, and select OBS right here. So right click on the virtual input in your bar down here, go to desktop or whatever it calls your computer and select OBS. Once you do that, now the virtual input tool is now taking your signal in. You can now plug in your signal from OBS into anything you want, any other program you want, Microsoft Teams, Discord, Zoom, whatever it may be, you can now use your audio and your video from OBS as a virtual input into anything else that supports NDI. It's so sick. Let's show you Zoom today, okay? I'm just gonna start a new meeting just as an example and join with computer audio is what you'll wanna do. And as you can see, it's already working here automatically. Let me turn it off as if it weren't automatically working, okay? So what you're gonna do when you boot up Zoom is you're gonna look down here under the microphone section and you're gonna click the up hash mark and you'll see where you can select a microphone in Zoom. Go ahead and select Line New Tech NDI Audio. That's gonna pull the audio from OBS from your audio mixer here and pull it into Zoom, okay? Now unmute that microphone. Cool, now your audio from OBS is pumped into Zoom. For your video, click the up hash mark next to the video sim symbol in Zoom, then select New Tech NDI Video here. Click that and then click the Start Video button and it will pop in your video signal into Zoom. So now when you switch scenes in Zoom, it will switch to whatever is in your main program preview right here in Zoom. Whatever is here visually and whatever is here in terms of audio, that is all being outputted into Zoom in real time. This can let you do professional webinars, professional presentations, stuff on a whole nother level. You can play videos, you can play video games, whatever you wanna do. You no longer have to manually select your webcam or select screen sharing or anything else here, your Zoom quality will blow everyone else away, okay? So let's review all the steps that we talked about a moment ago. You downloaded the NDI plugin that's working here in OBS and you installed it. You downloaded and installed the NDI virtual input which allows you to input and to programs like Zoom and you installed that. You restarted your computer you opened the virtual input program here. Then you opened OBS and you outputted your OBS signal using the tools. You then took that signal in using the virtual input right over here. Then your final step was opening Zoom and selecting NDI as your microphone and NDI as your video source and then the magic happens. I tried to make that as simple as possible. If you need help with this or anything else, I'm happy to help you. I actually helped a professor in California set this up just last week. I've got a call with him tonight. Schedule one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. You can go to awalldigital.com, link in the description below. Choose your day, choose your time. I can help you with your YouTube strategy, your streaming strategy, your webinars, whatever it is. I've been doing this for a living for the last 15 years. Enter your information and pay, and boom, I'm on a one-on-one -on -one coaching call with you, helping you do whatever it is you need to do with online broadcasting.